Hello guys, Mr. Moth here, and the build the build I'm going to show you guys is going to be the Viking build for the Barbarian. And then the Viking build is basically a cold build, and it's going to be a build supporting your teammates. So this build is going to be quite party played. It's not going to be very much damage, sadly, but this is all reliant on your friends doing damage. Um, I'm going to try and go through this as fast as possible, and if you guys have any questions or any um, kind of specific questions or anything like that, I'm going to try and put as much information in the description below. And hopefully make it as neat as possible for you guys to find information you want. If not, please feel free to comment below. And I uh, will allow you to basically have the ability to ask you know, ask the question and I'll answer it. So, uh, first I'll talk about the gear. The gear will be as follows. First thing you need is your Wrath for your left hand. Your sure main hand. The reason why is because a 21.3% chance to freeze on hit, which could be a 25%, which is a 1 in 4, sorry, 1 in 4 chance to freeze on your hit. Or a... Basically, you know, one five chance to freeze and hit, but get the your wrath because also cold damage and whatnot. Your offhand will be a storm shield. I'll link it here. Uh, the storm shield will be basically the one thing that will keep you alive, among other things. Very tanky shield. Very, really, really, really good. Um, next, you get Raycor's five set. Do not get the gloves. Gloves will be for something else. But get your five set. Will be your shoulders, head, chest, pants, and boots. Um, again, try and roll for your charge damage on it if you want. Try and max out your all resists and try and get cooldown reduction on things that you're able to. Instead of, and for your gloves, instead of going for rate course, you're going to get, get frost burn. And frost burn will have the passive of you have a chance from 34 to 45% chance to, instead of chilling and slowing something, your, your chill will now freeze them. It's for the duration that it has been stated as chill. Very strong, very good for this build, very synergizing, and it's probably awesome. Your, your rings, soon as you guys just noticed that you don't have Grand Doer, you're going to be grabbing up two things. Rogar's huge ring, because that's a lot of tankiness in one ring, or you can grab Unity with your friends. If you don't want to go with Unity with your friends, you can grab any other ring you want, it's not a big deal. Um, go for the Haunt ring, go for Bolkathos, up to you. Next, you're going to go for an amulet. The amulet's going to be the Star of Ascaranth. It's a very strong amulet. It's the best one in slot because the fact that Fire Chance is really, really strong, it will probably destroy you, and Molten is really, really strong too. If you do not want that, you can go for the Lightning variant of this one, which will fight against Electrified, which is also very painful. After that, you're going to go for a belt. The belt's going to be Pride of Cassius, or you can go for Lamentation, which will allow the run to stack twice. The uh, reason why you want Pride Cassius is because Nora Pain is really strong, and of course, Limitation will stack twice for the reason of Limitation, so Rend being on your bar. Your skills. Your skills will be as follows. Cleave with Gathering Storm for ch to chill the 10% increased damage from all sources, and of course, seeing as it's a chill, Frostburn will synergize nicely with this. Rend. Rend will be on there for, for the 10% increased damage, and again, chill again, which is, will, will be a possible 5 second um, freeze. And if you have limitation on, this will stack twice, so that's 20% chance to, uh, you know, 20% increased damage. Your first skill will be a Furious Charge, and of course, Raycor's on, so you'll have the access to Cold Rush, Merciless Assault, and Dreadnought to make things all bunched up. And remember, as it's a Furious Charge and it's on a mouse click, um, if you click on your feet, you will charge at your feet. And that's a big area of, co uh, a big um, kind of area of effect, you can, you can say. And it freezes everything, by the way. Two, threatening shout with demoralize. Your taunts can be really, really key here. You're gonna taunt everything you can on yourself. This will allow your friends be able to freely do damage. This will also allow them to not chase like anything that's running away. You want to do this so your friends don't have to chase. There's no time wasted. There's no um, skills being missed out on or missed at all. So just get demoralized with threatening shout. And since you have a lot of cooldown reduction, I hope this will be spammed a lot. Three, work out with impunity. I have no reason to really explain this. More all resist, more armor. Ignore pain with mob rule. This will help your help your friends, you know, kind of escape frozen, escape stuns, knockbacks, whatever. This will also save their life if you have, you know, someone falling down below. And this will also reduce all the damage taken for your friends by 50%, and that's huge. If not, you also go for iron hide or ignorance is bliss. Or contempt for weakness, but no one likes that. Passively, nurses of steel, tough as nails superstition and expiring presence paragon points is as follows core movement speed to max if not and then you can go for vitality or strength offensively max out your cooldown reduction then go into attack speed to 
defensively, all resist. If not that, go for armor spent, uh, armor or life regeneration and utility. Max out your life on hit and then go into area damage. And that is basically the Viking build. This is how you're going to basically play it. On AoE, or on you know more than three targets, obviously, you're going to be fear charging a lot while taunting in the air. Th um, your char your um, shout should be on at all times, obviously. But basically, like I said, on AoE, just charge around, freeze everything as you can. Then on single target, taunt it on you. Make sure that runs up. Make sure that you're um, cleaving, and that means that because both cleave and rend are both chill effects, that means that is your wrath will try to you know freeze, but also frostburn will also try and freeze because it has a, f a good chunk of percentage to put that into a freeze for the amount of time that you have it for. Um, this should be a really good build. It will CC the crap out of things. It will make you make your friends do the 30, 30 to almost 40% chance or 40% more damage. And if you have, let's say, Gem of Facious Toxin on, Mirnai, and Band Trap, it's all going to go towards their damage. And it's going to be so good in the fact that you will not die and they and your friends will be sort of safe with all the CC that you're putting down. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. If it works out for you, please you know comment below. And remember that you can check the description below to have any more notes that I put down and anything that you guys may have questions about feel free to comment below like I said anyways guys thank you for watching have a good day